Welcome back to TFC Plays, the Direwolf 20 Season 7 pack. All right. Well, now, last time out, I had gotten down to, like, 80 or 90-something uh, yellowrite or yellowrium ore ingots or whatever, you know. Uh, well, fuel for the reactor, running really low on it. And uh, so I started doing something about power situation. I got these guys all upgraded. They now put out a maximum of 320 RF per tick, fueled by lava from the nether, and that's a good supplementary power shot. And then down here, I started installing these vibrant capacitor banks, and I have enough of them here to, as you can see, hold one billion RF. And they hold like a million each, so there's enough of them to hold a million. No, they hold 25,000 each. But uh, they, they, the whole bank together adds up to a billion RF. Totally cool. And so that means that my next thing to do is going to have to be, uh, well... Let's see, there's enough, oops, I forgot to plug my mic in, so if things sounded funny up until now, that was the reason, I didn't, well, the mic is plugged in, obviously, it was the headset I forgot to plug in. Anyway, uh, one of the things I did was to put up this uh, solar generator, which, uh, there was one bad, one thing about it that I find kind of annoying, to say the least. It can hold up to 800,000 R 800, RF. But it, at this point, it charges. And it's generating 320 per second. To transmit the energy, you need to give it a redstone signal, at which point there is a 10 second countdown before it starts, and then it transmits the energy. And once the energy is gone, then you have to switch it back on so that it will commence, uh, switch it back off so that it will uh, start charging again. That is uh, not very acceptable. But I think the first thing I want to deal with is uh, taking care of the Eulorium situation because uh, having reactor fuel is kind of really important. So. I think for the moment I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up. In fact, I'm going to make another component to go with it. And uh, I'm going to set up another overworld quarry. Because... Uh, that, you know, the Eulorium, I'm not getting that from, uh, let's see, oh, come on, there, now, let's see, how about Ender? Ender quarry. We've got the speed upgrade. I don't need the pump upgrade. Yeah, this one. The, uh, no. The world hole. Yeah. Okay, so I need a trash can. Oh, for crying out loud. You're kidding me, right? Okay. Alright, alright, there's the world hole upgrade. Okay, and where's my goodie bag? Alright, now I'm going to head off 
to my overworld quarry location, which should be off that way. All right, I'm going to head off there and I'll be back. Okay, back at my uh, old surface quarry site. Still have that reactor I built to power it originally, and I'm not even going to use it this time. I need to take that thing down one of these days. Okay, anyhow, I've got my ender markers. And let's see. Uh, yeah, there's my chunk markers. Chunk boundaries. This will do right here. Okay, so a marker here. And this is Forty seven on the Z. So I need to go this way to place the next one at one thousand forty seven on the Z. It's going to end up being a one thousand by one thousand quarry. So I'm gonna get these markers placed. Let's see, what's the Y axis I'm using here? One nineteen. Alright. There we go. Now we've got uh I've got these things put in. Okay, so we need the ender quarry here. And we'll throw a tesseract on top of it. And upgrade here. Another upgrade there. All right, that should take care of that. Boundary established, and now for power. Yeah, and if I have it enabled, if I have it set for enabled high, okay, now here's hoping that I actually thought to have uh, the wireless redstone things, and I don't have them here. Blast it all. Well, I can go ahead and leave it redstone ignored for right now. Okay, that means it's starting all the way down that way. <laughs> okay, I will be back. I'm going to get some redstone stuff, the wireless redstone to set it up so that I can remote turn this on and off. Let's see. Do I have any of that in here? No. Well, I need a wireless receiver. Wireless receiver, one please. All right, now to go get that put in place. And that way I can use this to turn it on and off. Let's see, yeah, set it for another quarry. All right, now let's see. A 
wait a minute. Yeah, I, I do need that one. All right. Wireless receiver. There we go. Set that to frequently one frequency one. And this thing. Oh. Whiskey. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, configuration. Receive energy. Turn that off. And send items. Redstone control. Active high. Okay, that should do it. Just head back to the base and hit the remote. And then check downstairs. We should have stuff coming in here. Yep. All right. Great. And that should, over time, get me a restock on the Yolorium, which I am deathly low on. And with 1 billion RF stored up, even if I run really low, by the time I run out of power, I will have a bunch more of uh, the fuel I need. Now, there is another matter here. Um... What kind of goodies do I have in my goodie bag? Uh, I don't see a comparator. Nope. Okay. One should be enough. And some redstone dust. Is there something, I, I need to do something about that solar generator. It's good, but the fact that uh, it works the way it does means that, well, it's not exactly run by itself, is it? Oh, wait a minute. Let's get off of the morph. Okay. Now, let's see. Can I put this down right there? Oh, you can't put it on the glass, huh? Well, that bites. All right. Put it there. All right, power 15. All right, how about... Break that. All right. Yeah, and right here, it's got a power of 8. And turn that off there. Now it's transmitting. So when this thing gets a redstone signal, you get a 10 second delay and then it starts to transmit the power. And then when this redstone signal drops to zero, as it will when the comparator doesn't read any, reads a low enough power level, then the thing will switch back into charge mode. Now, this is very crude, I know, but what I'd ideally like is to come up with a circuit that would detect when the thing is full and then turn on a redstone signal when it reaches like 800,000 when it's full and then when it gets down to, say, 
10,000, turn that signal off and keep it off until it gets back up to 800,000. That would be a great way to do it, but I'm not sure how to build that sort of a circuit. <laughs> At least not right off the get-go. This is crude, but it works. Otherwise, the thing would just charge up and sit there holding the power, which would not be available for anything. All right, I'm going to give this thing, uh, the quarry, some time to run. And one of the reasons I did this was uh, not only because of the... fuel loss because uh, the reason the fuel loss happened and I went through so much fuel so fast is because having this running and having that uh, laser uh, void quarry going at the same time and it was just uh, too much of a drain it was burning power so fast Burning the fuel so incredibly fast that, uh, yeah, that was not great. All right, I am going to uh, watch things for a little bit. All right, we're already up to 115 Eurorium, so that's good. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, and I'll be back. All right, took me a little looking around. It turns out that this is, uh, all right, the quarry is over there, and it started back here on this corner. And you can see here, it's digging this channel all the way this way. And uh, right now, it's less than a chunk wide because the way the thing is set up. But after this, they'll all, it'll be digging 16 by 16 sections. Right now, it's 16 by, I think, 5 or 6 or something. And it's going all the way to bedrock, picking up pretty much everything. And uh, there are some spectacular water messes involved. And, oh yeah. What do we got here? Okay. Peabody's portal gun. Okay. Cool. And I believe, that yeah, there's another one over there. Okay. All right, I've got a ender pouch I can drop this stuff in. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that one. <laughs> okay, that means I have to fly back because I can't teleport without that. Oh well, that won't be a big deal. All right, so this thing is working, picking up tons of stuff, and I am now going to fly back to the base and see what we've got for Eulorium fuel now. Back here, up back up to 679 Eulorium ingots, so that's good. And let's see, there's my charge porter. Yeah, all right, good. So, the power situation is finally back in hand, and that means that I should have no problem if I went back over here and start this thing running. All right, turn the grinders on, and turn the spawner on, and I can once again begin collecting ethereal essences. Uh, that thing... Uh, sucks down the power big time yeah all right and what do we got down here it's actually running a bonus a, a gain how about that because uh well i've moved the tesseract so that it's taking energy from the power from the backup from the batteries instead of from this so let me take this one off all right 
now let's see how we're doing down here power line coming from the reactors on both sides feeding into the power storage and that's good to have a 600 surplus with the uh, spawner running so that's going to be great that means that I will have the opportunity to collect a lot of these essences which I'm going to need hey this thing's getting uh, getting up there too almost two layers of tanks completely full all right okay so things are doing better now and I can leave that quarry going and probably even with the thing running out there I will be gaining fuel faster than I'm using it and it appears that this thing seems to be working let me take a quick run out here and look Yes, it is. Oh, it spits out a little bit of power and then immediately turns off because it shuts off as soon as the power level of the redstone gets to one. I need a better circuit to manage this. I have to see what I can come up with. Anyway, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.